Hello everyone, uh, we're the Barrys and thanks for joining us in this video where um, this weekend we're at Haven uh, seashore site in Great Yarmouth. So we've just arrived at our caravan so we checked in at the sort of security or gatehouse so there we were given our uh, uh, entertainment passes so we've got two uh, you don't need one for small children so that sort of gets us access into the clubhouse and all the entertainment activities but more importantly we were given the um, sort of location and details for our caravan so we booked a silver uh, caravan so we've stayed at this site before and last time we had bronze and this time we sort of upgraded slightly and gone for silver so so sort of going to have a look around first impressions of our caravan so we're at number 38 and we've got a drifter so let's go inside and have a quick quick look around so one great little thing as well you get your own parking space for this one uh, a lot of them you do but some you don't actually get a space and here we are here's oliver here's mummy katie so let's have a look so first thing so it's a three bed we've got with the lockwood um and it's quite a nice little touch they put a sort of sticker across the door so the keys are already in the door when you arrive and they put a sticker across to show it's been cleaned and it's all ready to come in hello Hi, see how you you come back inside it's too cold well come come back inside with me because we're showing everyone around the caravan oliver's very security conscious so we've got the key so here we are. Drifter 38. So Drifter 38, this is one to note down because this is absolutely stunning. So like I said, a silver category caravan. Uh, last oh. year we had a bronze oh, and okay. and that was beautiful and modern as it was, but this is just next level I feel. So this is sort of like the living living room, lounge area. Uh, pull out sofa. We've got a fire as well, which we didn't have with the bronze. And just the decor is really nice and fresh and modern as well. Um, we've got a TV. I think it's got a DVD player under there as well. And we've got a little sort of decking area with a table and chairs. Two chairs. So it's beautiful and warm. Shall smells really fresh. Shall we make ice cubes? Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to need them for our drinks, aren't we? Yeah. That's my ice cubes. <laughs> Priorities. Let's make the ice cubes. Yeah, that can stay there, can it? For what yeah. four days? Can you tell everybody about the caravan. Um, what do you think? I need some of ice cubes and coffee. What well, do you think to the caravan, Oliver? I need to find oh. some ice right. cubes. Not listening. We're focused on ice cubes, aren't we? But so we've got so we've got a little dining area, table and chairs, and fully kitted out kitchen. So I think we've got a fridge, freezer, microwave, cooker. A hob as well, kettle and toaster, so you don't need to bring any of that stuff. And there's all cutlery as well, I believe, from the. Daddy, there is. You got something. What have I got? Your things. You have to put them inside. <laughs> we will. Well, we've not unpacked the car yet, so we're going to bring those in in a minute. So this is a three bed. So this little bedroom, we've got two bedroom. Uh, sorry, two beds. So they're quite narrow, so probably children's perhaps, or and same again in here. So two beds and sort of little storage cupboards, a mini, mini wardrobe, and you can get one each side, which is quite nice. And next we have our bathroom. Wow, it's just really lovely fittings. So lovely, the fittings are lovely and modern. It's really, really clean. And our master bedroom, mummy and daddy's room. It's got a nice big, maybe king, queen. So it, it, it seems a bit bigger than a double, but it's a nice size. Uh, we've got a little TV for us. And an ensuite, very fancy. A shower. I think I've said it a few times, but it's so warm, which you don't normally expect from a 
caravan, um, but we see there's radiators and and everything, so it's been kept nice and toasty. So Daddy. there we go. Yay! So what do you think, Oliver, of this caravan? Ice cubes. What do you think? You're obsessed with them ice cubes, aren't you? What do you think, Mummy? Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so modern and fresh and the sun comes to the front of the caravan. It's so light and it just smells new. Everything's yeah. new. Do you think this is worth the upgrade over the bronze? Definitely. I mean, how much we paid for the weekend, I think we paid more last year for the bronze. So if you, you time it right, you book it in advance, I think you're like, you get a really good price. And How much did we pay for this for I think we paid four days? £277 for this days. break. Wow. And then that's included um, the check-in time. So you have to pay £20 Mommy, to select your check-in time. Yeah, so that's the point. So if you don't pay extra to have a check-in time allocated to you, then you could be arriving any time up to 7 o'clock. So you, you're sort of told when yeah, to arrive. Seven, so, it? so it's like worth... And but potentially also, paying you um, extra 20 quid just so you can plan your day and make sure you know what time you're arriving for. And we paid £15 to um, select our caravan. Yeah, so that's the point. So we select, we've we never stayed in this one before, but we we paid to select this one just because of the location. So it's quite close to the sort of entertainment um, facilities like the marina bar and the stage and stuff. Oliver, don't touch the poo. <laughs> You just touched it, so we're gonna have to wash your hands. Don't touch poo poo, do we? No. No, let's go wash your hands. Yeah, we just don't do that, do we? So in the minute, we're gonna unpack and then we're gonna go over and grab some food. Yeah, we can sit at those, can't we? So we're gonna go grab some food at the on-site restaurant. So we'll show you that too. Right, so we're just about to go out for some food and we're going to go over to the coast house. So we've got a table booked for four so you can pre-book um, before you arrive. But I think there'll be quite good availability when we came last year. There was loads of tables, but booked anyway just in case. But I thought I'd do a quick sort of summary of what kind of food um, you can grab here. So they've got this little, um, little card. So we're going to the coast house. But you've got... Um, a pizza deck, uh, the cakery, you've got a Burger King and Cook's, I think that's a van actually near the um, coast house and a Papa John's as well but it's worth knowing but they deliver as well so they bring it to your caravan so Papa John's and Burger King I think they've got little um, golf buggies and they drive around the site so they'll come and drop off a Papa John's or a, a burger to your caravan. Uh, the same with the sort of uh, clubhouse as well. When you're watching the entertainment and the the shows, they've got little QR codes so you can order your pizza and your burgers and stuff straight to your table. So it's quite a nice little touch. Um, so we're just about to, to head over to the the coast house. We'll show you a bit of that. Just a little thing to show you as well. So, welcome to the kitchen. Microwave, fr fridge, freezer, oven hob. You've got washing machine. So that's not on the website or anything, so that's really cool. Well, I don't think it was. I didn't no, remember seeing it. No, it's not. I had a look last night. There's no mention of a washing machine. And a half dishwasher. Mommy, oh, wow. There's no mention of a dishwasher outside either. Outside some steps. That's really cool. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, I mean, the washing machine's still got all the like, stickers on, so it looks pretty much brand new. Mommy, so you've got your plates as well. I'm going to go and get mugs all the and cups. in now. There's some steps. Decent sized fridge as well. I'm guessing below will be a little freezer. Toaster kettle. There's some steps. Some steps. You be careful, right, sweetie. You be careful then. You're no, very excited, aren't you? Wait here, because I need to go in here. Oliver, yeah. tell the camera what you think of the caravan. I love the Well, I think that speaks a lot. Right, let's fetch the stuff in. So we're also we're just walking to the restaurant. So this is sort of what the site's like. Got little roads and all the caravans sort of lined against them. Here's Mummy just catching his up. She had to go put the scooter away. It's this cheeky boy didn't want to ride it. So last year we stayed number 22 just here. And our caravan is literally just around the corner. So we're sort of in a similar spot to last time. 
and I think this location, if you're looking on a map when you're booking, is really ideal for sort of wandering around to the uh, clubhouse. So that the majority of the facilities are up this end of the side, so sort of apart from the the water park and the main restaurant, but sort of the evening entertainment and the stage shows, the bar. Papa John's, Burger King, some of the activities are all this way, aren't they? So this is a really good location for that. So you've got sort of the football, basketball over there, little playground. So a lot of the activities are this way. And the, the main building's just there. You can just sort of about see the roof. But we're going to be walking past that going to the restaurant. Here we are at the coast house. So this is sort of the the area where you've got a bit of an outdoor play area. Over there's the water park and the Cook's fish and chip van. And I think that's only open Saturday and Sunday. And this is the coast house and the cakery. And beside that is a little mini golf course, which Oliver's exploring. Off he goes. A nice little course. There's a ranger station over there, so I think that's some more activities because they do some sort of outdoorsy stuff like den building, uh, bug hunts, which you sort of have to book onto. And some of the activities uh, cost a little bit extra, don't they? Yeah, just a bit extra. There's a lot that are free, but the free ones you have to walk quite well in advance because they just yeah, so people snap those up, the we free ones. We managed to get them, even though we were booking our things quite early in advance, we didn't manage to get the free ones, but it's alright. We might book onto the uh, bear park tomorrow. In fairness, there's quite a lot to do, even without booking on activities, because they have a lot of shows at the sort of main entertainment area. There's a Tops Disco tonight. So yeah, we're going to the Tops Disco. We're going to get to eat. And we're going to go get something to eat at the Coast House. And what's quite cute as well, there's a little soft play inside. I'm sure we'll look out. inside of the coast house we'll have a proper walk around in a minute but it's very modern we're sat near the cakery to see what good is yeah really nice booth that did ask we were sat somewhere else initially but we spotted this booth and asked the lady and kind of moved it which is good so here's sort of the menu oh yeah let's have a look at the deals so yeah check those on the inside of the menu I didn't bring you on earth before, did I? That's cool. So menu-wise, sort of like sort of cook food. Ah, oh, Bill, thank you. Oh, look at that, we've got a slushy. Very lucky boy. So yeah, it's mostly pub food. So you've got uh, burgers, curries, pasta, like grilled stuff, uh, rotisserie chicken. Little things like katsu curry, Thai stuff, it's yeah, it's really nice. So, just a bit of a walk around the inside. So, it's really nice and modern, it's lovely. It's got the sort of a bar area. Downstairs, this is sort of where the soft play is. So, I think Oliver's going to be going there after, so have a quick look. So we'll get Oliver in there straight after he's eaten, finished his food. And then there's the cakery around here as well. So it's a bit like a, a bit of a bakery. We've got slushies. There's all the cakes. Oh, yeah, right. We've got ice cream as well. Let's have a quick look at the ice cream. Selections is quite cool. So that's the cakery, and then just out there to the right is the water park and the sort of Cook's fish and chip van. And then just over there, Mummy and Oliver. There they are. So, yeah, really nice. The prices are fairly reasonable. It's not, I wouldn't say it's dirt cheap, but probably what to be expected nowadays. So, yeah, fingers crossed, we get some nice food. So we've had uh, katsu curries, I'll have chicken nuggets, and we've had a starch of some chicken as well. Alright, food's out. 
So we'll start with this tired boys food. So chicken nuggets and chips, not quite the biggest portion in the world, but big enough for our boy. What do you think, Oliver? A bit hot, aren't they? It's a cool down a bit. So I've had two chicken katsu curries. It's quite nice. Yeah, first impressions looks all right. We'll just see how they taste. Right, here we are with desserts now. So mains, katsu curries were delicious. The only thing was the onions were, weren't cooked, so I don't know if that's how it's yeah. meant to come. But I don't know if that's how it's meant to be. It is what it is, but the katsu, the rice, the chicken, and the sauce are absolutely delicious. Oliver gobbled all his up, and now they're onto these puddings. So pancakes for Oliver, sticky toffee pudding for mummy, and look at this absolute whopper. A beast of a chocolate fush cake. So I can't wait to get stuck into that because we've both been dieting recently. So, <laughs> no, this, I'm is, so guilty. this is. We're uh, doing ever so well. Yeah. This is going off the rails, but. Uh, oh well, we're allowed to. be on the rails when you're on holiday. So, there we go. We're going to get stuck in. Look at that poor. Oh, Delish. Yeah. Naughty, naughty. Yummy. Alright, we're just finished inside the restaurant. And it was absolutely delicious. I mean, that fudge cake was unbelievable. Katsu curry was great. So, yeah, really pleased with the meal. So, I just thought I'd grab a quick shot just to show some of the other activities. So, next to that restaurant, as you've got the bike and cart hire, which closed at the minute. Well, I'm guessing that'll be open in the morning. And then you've got the other ranger station. So, like, you've got a bug hotel and sort of outdoor activities, which is quite cool, but like woodland type stuff. So, we're just going to have a walk over to the it's the clubhouse, like the main sort of bar, uh, the takeaway stuff and the um, sort of even entertainment and the arcade. You're over there, are you? Yeah, in the morning, look like I'm on the path. Welcome on the path, we've got to be safe. Dangerous on the road. Yeah. Right, so let's have a walk over. Let's keep walking. So lovely clear evening. So the restaurant definitely started to pick up. So it was quite quiet when we arrived. So it was about four o'clock. So I wouldn't say you'd necessarily need to book a table about that time, but so it's about 10 to six now. And it was a lot busier in there. And Oliver had a little go on the soft play. So it was great. So let's go have a look. It's uh, the Tots Disco and some evening entertainment. So here we are at the Seashore Pavilion. So outside you've got the trampolines, obviously not running at the minute because it's the evening. Uh, some sort of climbing stuff and jumping stuff, big jump. And then here you've got the Burger King and Papa John's in there. And a bit of the activity area. So yeah, this is sort of a bit of a hub for activities as well. So this area is sort of the, called the Seashore Pavilion. So you've got the Marina Bar and Stage, Creative Studio. Burger King Papa John's and the arcade as well. So here's the main entrance. Let's head inside. So inside you've got the creative studio. So they do sort of like pottery painting and all sorts of activities in that area. And here's a big site map. So it's a really big site. So we are located about here, and then that's sort of the main area of all the activities in the pavilion. And over there is where we've just been, the restaurant, the water park. And this is where you book your activities. You can see sort of what uh, what these paid for extras are, so painting, painting animals and pottery and bits and bobs. And they got teddy bear making, so I think we might sign up for that for tomorrow morning. And that all happens in there. And this is where your fast food is. The Burger King, Papa John's. And then, we've got the big arcade. Okay. It's really cool modern machines, lots of games. What do you think, Ollie? Are you going to go in here? Ball madness? Wow, this is exciting. Yeah. And also in the arcade, you've got a bit of a soft play as well. I think there's like a toddler 
tight one for smaller kids and then a bigger one for the bigger kids which is quite nice have that separate and you've got usual sort of ticket redemption type machines and there and a bit of a store to go collect your prizes at the end you want to burn some cash burn some tickets yeah some quite cool modern games shooters and driving games quite a lot of ticket tight games though so just a word of caution when your kids become addicted to earning tickets for the prizes but so it's all part of the fun and then next to the arcade you see the side marina stage that's where the the bar and even entertainment is here we go got one very happy boy So after this little choo-choo ride, we're going to head into the marina stage. So for the activities and the entertainment and to go in, in there, you need your play passes. So we got these when we arrived in the car, because you can book caravans with or without them, so it's slightly cheaper, but all it is is accommodation only. But if you pay extra, it's only 20 quid or something like that, you get the play passes, which gives you all your all your shows, entertainment, some activities. So it's definitely worth it if you're having a family stay. Keep the kids busy. Unfortunately, these aren't included on the play pass. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> Your driver's home. Yeah. So we are inside the Marina Bar and Stage. Try to get a little decent seat, a little half booth. So they're about to have the Tots Disco. One of the great things here is that with the QR code, you can order drinks and food to your table. So like that includes Papa John's, Burger King, little snacks as well, and Mummy and Daddy drinks, of course. So you've got the Tots Disco, they normally have a little stage show with the characters, and then a bit more adult type stuff like Mr. and Mrs. Tart games and quizzes and bits and bobs, so some decent entertainment. And then over there you've got a bit more of a guess a quieter area where there's no entertainment, a bit more sports and stuff like um, so at the bar. So it's good, nice, nice family vibe, which is good. Very busy, saying it's March, right at the beginning of the season. So I'd probably say if you want a table, you need to be getting here quite early. So what are we on? Six o'clock now. So that's when the Tots Disco is meant to start. So I think if you want to bag yourself a table, make sure you get in here nice and early, especially in the summer ones, I can imagine it's absolutely packed. But it's good vibes. So we're going off at the Tots Disco. Yay! Yeah. Quick look in the wonder shop. We'll have a pause some dancing. Let's have a look inside. So you've got all your seaside squad merch. The bear and the elephant and the little monkey and the tiger. Yeah, <laughs> Oliver. Just having a look at the minute. Well, we're just having a look for the time being, just to see what there is. You get some popcorn as well. And some crinkle cut chips. They're sort of your snacks. It's really cool. What else you spotted? Don't drop things on the floor. Let's pick that up, good boy. Some millions. 
see if there's a number for me because that's what I We've got the Seaside squad coming. What can we win, Oliver? I think you got your eyes on that car, haven't you? I can to win that car! Yeah, fingers crossed! So he's a little bit tired, so we weren't really feeling the show a lot, but he wanted to come back and try out some of the games. So I think we'll have a couple of games in the arcade and then we'll head back and chill out in the caravan. And you can go to bed. But yeah, like I said earlier, it's really busy. Kate was telling me it's the first day of the season. Is that right, Kate? The first day of the season? First day of the season, yeah. Wow. So yeah, very busy. Oh, winner. Yeah, official opening. So did a cracking job so far, all the staff have been great. Really friendly. Still coming out. We don't know we've bro we've broke the machine. They've been coming out for ages. <laughs> I've already got all these. What is happening here? I think we've won the lotto. Wow, I think we did quite well on the hippo game. <laughs> right, See how many tickets we got in the end for a pound. So in the end, we got 250 tickets for that one pound game. That's mega. Oliver's just gonna have a quick go on the uh, horsey now. Safe to go. Yeah. Ready? I'll put the pound in. Yeah, celebrating our big ticket win with a horsey ride. Go for it, mommy, go! Oliver's trying his best. 